They want to see you smile. Hey, Mooty girl. <laughs> Aw, okay. She's really fussy today. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna calm down for mommy? Hmm? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back again with another video. Today we're gonna be doing a two month baby update. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Janicia. I am a first time mom. I just had a baby two months ago. This is my baby, my Zai Zai. Her name is Zyla. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about her today and we're gonna be getting into a lot of things. Um, she, see, look, look at this. This is something that she's starting to do now. She can like really grip stuff now, now that she turned two months old. This is Zyla Marie, you guys. Marie is her middle name. I just love saying Zyla Marie because it's so cute to me. Um, but this is my baby, Zyla Marie. Say hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hi, she looks just like her dad, you guys. Loki doesn't really look nothing like me. She looks just like her dad. First things first, I want to address the breathing. First thing that I noticed since she's turned two months is that her breathing. When she first was born, she never really had breathing problems like this. Okay, guys, as you can hear, like just be quiet and just hear her breathe. I talked to the doctor plenty of times about her breathing and she said that it's normal. She says the reason why she's breathing like this is because her airways have been like developed so they kind of like collapse which makes it seem like she's having a hard time to breathe but she said that it's just because she have not fully developed. Sometimes it really does scare me. The older that she gets the less that she will breathe like this. So I'm just hoping that it goes away. Um, if it doesn't, I'm gonna get a second opinion because I don't know, it really scares me. Okay guys, so I set her down and hopefully she's she's chilling until I'm done with this video. But she was born prematurely. She was five pounds and I think about eight ounces. Even though she was born prematurely and she was really, really small, she was healthy. The only thing that she had when she was born was jaundice. And jaundice is something that has to do with the skin. We just went to the pediatrician about a week ago and she just hit eight pounds and nine ounces, which I'm really, really happy about because um, we kept going back to the pediatrician and she was just like, maybe you need to up the formula because she's not gaining as much weight as she should be gaining. I know a lot of people say, hey, you don't buy a lot of newborn clothes because if you buy a lot of newborn clothes, they will grow out of them really quickly. But she's still wearing newborn clothes, you guys. Like she's just now starting to get to the zero in three months, but she's still mostly wearing newborn clothes and she's about to be three months. Like don't get too much because they do grow really fast, but um, get a little healthy amount. On to breastfeeding, you guys. So um, I, I wanted to breastfeed you guys okay as soon as I popped her out I was just like I'm going to breastfeed I want to breastfeed I did want to breastfeed till she was six months I stopped breastfeeding about a week ago probably even more than that I think about uh, two weeks ago my milk has fully dried up some days they did hurt but I do have um, ibuprofen I have a prescription from ibuprofen that my doctor prescribed me I just pop an ibuprofen that will help with you know the pain that I get when you know you are not, you're trying to dry up your milk. When I had her, I was basically doing both. I was breastfeeding more. She was first born. I was breastfeeding more than I was giving her formula, but I was getting, I was giving her both. And I wish I would have just said, you know, hey, I'm just going to breastfeed. She started to really like the bottle because, you know, she was getting more milk and she was getting it faster than latching onto the boob. The reason why I stopped breastfeeding is because she really didn't want to latch on anymore, you guys. Like, it was, it was a struggle to get her to latch onto my boob because she didn't want my boob anymore. She wasn't getting as much milk as she would get from the bottle. You know, from the bottle, she would just gulp it down and she was getting it really fast other than the, the um, breast, you know, it wasn't come, it wasn't the same as the bottle. So it was getting, it was getting really hard for her to latch onto my boob and it, I would literally have to struggle. Like it would take me like five minutes just to get her latched onto it, to latch onto my boob. And then when she latched onto my boob, she would like 
suck for a good um three minutes and then she would just she would latch off and then i'll have to struggle again to get her back on the boob and it just became a really big hassle so i was just like you know what i'm just gonna start winging her off my boobs and i'm just gonna go to formula full time but i just wanted to like let you guys know that she's fully on formula now she's not breastfeeding anymore she's going to be a tall baby of course because i'm tall her, her dad is tall as well so she's going to be a tall baby i think right now she's at 21 inches she has pretty long legs you guys she's a long baby like i just know she's going to be tall next thing that i want to talk about she had this rash and i, I wouldn't call it rash because the pediatrician said that it was normal she doesn't have it anymore because i was using i'm using something to get rid of it it's kind of like tiny bumps like a lot lot of tiny bumps and she said that it's normal newborns get that all the time it was like on her face and it was on her on her chest and it was on her back and it was really bad on her back and it went up to her neck when she hit one month that's when she started to get the rashes this is what i started to use you guys um it is called aquaphors aquaphor baby is for rashes irritated skin dry skin um things of that nature and you guys this this is worth the money so i started to use this ointment and um it cleared it up so i had to use it a couple of times before it started to fade away so i highly recommend this i talked to plenty of their moms you guys they're always just like you need to get your baby on a sleep schedule you need to get your baby on a sleep schedule and there's plenty of moms that have got their baby on a sleep schedule but as of right now it's just so hard to get, get her on a sleep schedule because when she's up she's up and when she's ready to go to sleep she's ready to go to sleep you guys she would literally fall asleep and i would literally like i would be talking to her i'd be holding her and i'd be trying to wake her up i'd be playing music trying to wake her up and stuff and she just will not get up at all so once she sleeps she sleeps so it's hard to get her on the sleep schedule but i'm going to try to because well she's getting better like right now she's going to sleep i think she last night she went to sleep around um two o'clock in the morning and we slept all the way up to like 10 in the morning so it was getting better at first when she was first born it was really hard because she would be up she would sleep all day and she would be up all night literally go to sleep around eight o'clock in the morning she will go to sleep at eight o'clock and then she will sleep all the way to like one one afternoon i'm still hella tired you guys i don't i still get less than eight hours of sleep um um now that my boyfriend is back to work it's kind of like mommy duty all the time like one thing that i noticed that she doesn't really like to sleep in her own crib or her own bassinet we got her bassinet she hates the bassinet you guys so we bought her this this napper we got that we got this from target and it's kind of like a napper crib um four in one sometimes she sleeps in a napper she takes her nap and she sleeps in a napper and sometimes she hates the napper and she wants to sleep with us sometimes i let her go to sleep on my chest but she's really starting to not want to sleep in her own bassinet or her own crib she really wants to sleep with me she would throw a fit. If you guys know any ways to like wing her to her bassinet or to wing her to just another like instead of just sleeping with me, let me know because um, that's really what she, she's liking to do. She's liking to sleep with me more often. Another thing that um, I want to hit was um, fevers. You guys know when you first have your baby, they get plenty of shots she just last um like a, like a week ago she got her two shots she actually had three but she took one um through the mouth they can like do the liquid through the mouth and then she has two shots on her legs and um it's a lot of side effects that come with baby shots the fever that went all the way up to 100.5 and she kept that fever for a good um two days just to look out for that because she was really cranky i just i massaged where she got her shots at um she seemed to really like that the doctor always says like massage it after they give the um shots to her i dressed her in light clothing and i, I took her bath more often but i looked it up and they said that that really helps which i do think it helps because i was taking her bath not back to back but i was taking her bath more than i take her baths now she's good she's healthy when i be like hi mooty moo she starts to smile so I, I feel like she knows my voice now and then my boyfriend will come home and she um and he'll be talking to me and she'll start smiling so i think that you know she 
is recognizing our voice now. She started to follow objects now. So like I was on my phone, like I had her and I was on my phone and I was like, and, and she would literally follow my phone wherever it goes. So she's starting to follow objects now. She's starting to grab things. She's starting to pick her head up more. We would do tummy time. I have this little bitty play set right here um, where we would do tummy time for like 10, 15 minutes a day to where she's on her, her on her stomach and um, I have I put like a little bitty pillow over um, her chest and she's just like up looking around. <laughs> she hates this light, you guys. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> hey, Lucy, you. You want to say hey to my channel? Hi. Say hi. I'm Lucy Boot. I have on my little onesie. You guys, she has on her little onesie. So cute. I just put her in it. Um, hopefully, the camera focuses. Oh. Oh, there you go. Isn't it so cute? But if you guys can see, she's pretty. She's she's small, but she's pretty long. Look at those eyebrows. Oh, oh okay, 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 Moody Gill. You guys see how like she's she's growing hair everywhere, but like right here. And I don't know if it's normal or maybe I, I need to put like put her on beanies or something like that. I hope you guys like this baby update. If you guys want to ask me questions on her growth and how it is being a first time mom, um, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys like this video. Always remember to love one another, be kind to one another, and to walk by faith and not by sight. And yeah, stay blessed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!